Hello and welcome to the point plugin corner, <laughs> both at the same time. Today I'll talk about a little plugin that I made, which is very simple. It's something that allows something, in my case I'm using collision shapes, to follow a bone. You are able to find this plugin, it's called Follow Bone 3D in the asset store already. Follow Bone 3D. I'm in the process of updating the icon, but if you download it, you'll see an example folder inside. So there's an example with a zombie. Just open the zombie TSN, the TSCN, and just run any of, of the animations from within the animation player, and you will see that the collision shapes are following the bone. There's no simple way, or at least straightforward way, of doing this within the editor. You need to code it yourself. And I was wanting to do something like this for a game gym that, that I'm trying to to make a game on. So I just decided to make a little plugin so that it can help other people. This is the magic line that makes the thing work and everything else just uh, set up code so that I'm able to configure everything through the editor. So here's an example. Let's say I want something to follow his arm or something. I don't know. Um, so follow bone 3D. I can use here to select the skeleton and then I say left arm for example and you'll notice that I have first I have the local view enabled over here so that I can see the gizmos pointing properly on the local space and you'll see also that the this left arm is following like the shoulder so I can just decide to go to another one and now I'm in the elbow okay sounds good so with this now I'm able to put anything inside it. Say I want to put a mesh. So you can just include a mesh with, uh, say, a cube. And I'll say this cube needs to be pretty large, so 50. And here it is. So you see like, now that there's like a cube on top of it, you can also just stop the animation and edit things on the local view. Uh, this is important. If you don't edit in the local view, maybe things will get strange. So just move it like this and now there's like a bazooka in his arm or something. I don't know. And just as I did here with mesh, I can also do like with anything. In my case, I wanted somehow to allow simple shapes, uh, simple collision shapes to follow, say, his leg, body and head so that I can, in my game gem, game that I'm building, I want this just to shoot it down. And instead of just making another separate shape with the entire mesh in Blender and importing it some other way, I just decided to make this a little script and I'm sharing with you just so it's faster for anyone else to do something similar instead of like having the hassle to, to figure out on your own. And of course you can just come to the, to the code and see how it's done. PRs are welcome. This is the, the, the GitHub repository, and you'll see there's a little description here, and you can install by just coming, cloning it, or also going to the asset lib, as I showed you. So shout out to Thomas Osterhamel for the zombie model that I used, and I also for Mixamel for the animations that I used to, to build this little example for you. Thank you for watching.